All right, here's problem 1635 from Gene Coley. The problem asks us to find E at point P. So what is the electric field over here at point P? And we need to express our answer in terms of four variables, Q, X, A, and K, the thing from the definition of E, which is K, Q over R squared. Well, the first thing we'll probably want to do is look at the direction, um, and then we'll work on the magnitude. There aren't numbers here, so we need to do it algebraically. The reason you would want to do a problem like this is once you have the algebraic solution, all you need to do is plug in numbers and you get your answer numerically. All right, but in this case, they don't even give us any numbers. We're just supposed to have an answer that has these quantities in it. The first thing, like I said, was to find the direction. We are closer to a negative, so let's draw the E field from the negative charge. There's E minus. From the positive charge, it's going to point in the other direction, but it's going to be smaller. Do you see how the Q plus Q is further away? So there's E plus, and E equals E plus plus E minus. A good thing to do right now would be to choose a coordinate system. Okay, I'm going to call this positive. And what that lets me do is I know that E plus now is a positive number, and E minus is a vector that points in the negative direction. So I can say that E, the magnitude of E now, is equal to E plus minus E from the negative charge. This is going to give me a negative answer, <clears throat> and that's okay because I've chosen a direction. I know that what that means is the E minus wins in the fight. Let's get started on the magnitude now. E plus is K times Q plus, which is just a capital Q, all over R squared for the positive charge, it's x plus a, so x plus a squared. For the minus charge, it's the same thing, only instead of being a further away than x, r for the minus charge is this thing, which is x minus a from here to here. Okay, so it's x minus a squared. So E equals, now I can put absolute value signs here because I know this is actually going to give me a negative number, but it's KQ over X plus A, the quantity squared, minus KQ over X minus A, the quantity squared, and the direction is to the left for a less than x. I probably wouldn't be too picky and ask you to do this, but you can actually see that if a gets bigger than x, then both of them pull in this direction, and it actually becomes a positive electric field. So if you... Um, if you left it without the absolute value signs, these little bars on the side that tell you to just take the positive, um, if it's negative, make it positive. If you took, left those off and had this drawn, then you'd get full credit. All right, well, that's our answer.